Before you begin using the online appointment booking module, you may wish to create additional calendars for your Kroll appointment calendar. To do this, you're going to go to the edit menu at the top left corner of your Kroll session and go to lists. Here you'll be prompted to put your credentials in. This will be dependent on your permissions in order to access this part of Kroll. In the new window that pops up, click on the calendars option on the left side column. By default, you'll have one calendar in here that's already created in your Kroll database. From here, you can create additional calendars or edit the existing calendars. You can change the name of the calendar, color, as well as set a default pharmacist so that any appointments created in that calendar will already have a pharmacist selected or who's going to be providing the professional service. At any time, it can be changed from within the appointment as well as when you're launching the professional service. Now that we've created any additional calendars, your next step is to decide which appointment types you want to allow patients to book online. Clicking on appointment types at the top left corner, Kroll will come default with a number of appointment types for each specific service you're providing to your patient. For the COVID immunization, I'm going to edit and double click, and it will bring up a new window with the appointment type details. From here, I can make changes to the name, the service I've selected for that appointment type, as well as to decide whether I want to allow online booking for this professional service. I can also adjust the default time for this appointment type. The application default is set in your store configuration. By default, the COVID immunization appointment type will have allow online bookings enabled for you already. So at this point, you'll want to decide if there are any other appointment types that you want to allow patients to book online on your website. The next step then is to set your pharmacy store hours. To do so, go to File, Configuration, Hours of Operation, Pharmacy. In the new window that pops up, depending on your permissions, you'll set your regular store hours. For example, Monday through Friday, 9 a.m. until 1700 or 5 p.m., Saturday, 10 a.m. until 2 p.m., and closed on Sunday. In addition to your regular hours, you can also indicate your holiday hours. Now that we've set up our preferences, the next step is to create appointment slots. In order to access the Creating Appointment Slots utility, you must be on the Appointment Calendar tile in your Kroll Start screen. Once you've selected the tile, go to Utilities, Calendar, and Create Public Appointment Slots. In the new window that comes up, you'll use the different parameters to create a number of slots that will then be available to your patients to book online. The first is to select your date range. At this point, you may choose to create slots for a week, two weeks, one month, two months, three months, and so on. Next, I can select which days of the weeks I want to create appointment slots for within that date range. Because my pharmacy is closed on Sundays, I may wish to only create slots on Monday through Friday. Although my pharmacy is open on Saturday, I may wish to use this utility for Saturdays only for a unique time range. For the time slots, I'm going to create the start time of my first appointment. The end time will then be the end of the last appointment. Every blank minutes indicates the duration of each appointment overriding the default. This may be determined based on the professional services you're offering for these appointment slots. Next, I can select which calendar I want to create these appointment slots in. Keep in mind that when you're creating appointment slots for multiple calendars, there could be the risk of double booking. If you're worried about double booking, limit your pharmacy to one calendar.
Finally, I can then indicate which professional services I want to make available for these unreserved appointment slots I'm creating. The list of services available will be dependent on the appointment types you've enabled for allow online booking. Once I've set all of my parameters, I can then create my time slots. At this point, it could take a significant amount of time depending on the number of appointments you're creating. When complete, Kroll will indicate how many appointment slots have been created. Press OK, and the window will close. At this point, I can then return to my utility and create additional appointments for my Saturdays if I wish. The next thing to review is deleting unreserved slots. At any point, I can select an appointment, right click, and click delete, or hit delete on my keyboard. When I select delete, a window will pop up to ensure that I'm confident in deleting this unreserved slot so it will no longer be available for patients to book online. Hit yes, and the slot is removed from the available slots for patients. Another option is to return to our utility by going to Utilities, Calendar, and using the Delete Public Appointment Slots utility to delete a number of appointments at once. I may choose to use this utility for a specific day, such as a holiday, specific days of the week, or perhaps even a certain time of day. For example, I've set my week date range and my days of the week, and during my lunch hour, I've decided I do not want to allow any appointments being booked. So between 12 o'clock noon and 1300 or 1 p.m., I want to delete any slots I've already created. When you're using the delete utility, this will only delete unreserved slots. Any booked or reserved slots will not be deleted using this utility. Once I've set my parameters, I can select Delete Time Slots. Kroll will then indicate how many slots have been deleted. I'll press OK and the window will close. You can now see within the hour between 12 and 1 o'clock, I no longer have any open unreserved slots. When creating slots, the utility takes into account real time. Some things to take into consideration when you're creating your appointment slots. What services do you want patients to be able to book online? Is it just the COVID vaccine? Or do you want to make available flu shots, medication reviews, and other vaccines? How many staff will you have available to provide the services? Do you need to take into account consideration other tasks happening around the pharmacy, such as prescription dispensing, lunch breaks, order receiving. Can different staff provide different services? If so, you may choose to use separate calendars to keep track of who is providing what service. Take into consideration your pharmacy resources available, like space to provide the service and the inventory. How much time should separate appointments to allow for completing things like documentation, cleaning the area, and preparing for the next patient? Is it at any time of day that you want to offer appointment slots, or are there certain hours of the day that work better as they are not as busy in the dispensary? Keeping all of these in mind, create as many appointment slots as your pharmacy deems appropriate.